we're here today at, um, at a place called Tatchbury Mountain, the New Forest. And we're really lucky because we've got a local history expert with us called Henry, who's just over here. This area where we're stood now is uh, on the site it's of an old mental asylum. Prior to that, it was Tatchbury Manor. Over to our right, there's the new NHS hospital. There's still remnants of the old asylum here. These are buildings that you can see house people with mental health problems and obviously back in the day the care of people with those sorts of illnesses wasn't what it is today and there's also there's a lot of rumours about the treatment of the people that was here. We go around we go to the point which we used to know as the prison block when we were children and we'd creep up around there at night and listen to the criminally insane shouting and screaming, frighten ourselves to death and run home. <laughs> Name Peter come through. I don't know if that means anything. Around. around. Does that mean Peter's around us? It is really quiet around here, isn't it? Yeah, but like you say, you hear the birds behind us, but you don't hear anything in front. So there's a lot of old, um, what looks to be old infrastructure pieces here. There were something. buildings here along there. There, there. there was a footpath. We used to take you down into the lower blocks where the children were kept and round to the swimming pool. There's an indoor swimming pool there, um, which was built back in the mid 70s. And a lot of this was only like teared down recently, wasn't it? This is part of the hospital, is the old part. Um, and that part there. The rest is quite modern compared to. Insight, you've got the insight. <laughs> so here was a scary place for us as children because we were we would come up here with our, our dogs and our ferrets and we would ferret around um, and there was always loads of rabbits here because poachers wouldn't come here and um, the reason being they said no it's scary there's, they were frightened they were frightened so for us as children we didn't we didn't believe in the old wise tales, but we did, did used to hear noises that frightened us at times. Tatchbury Mount has a long dark history. Originally an Iron Age hill fort, the site is also believed to be the location of a battle, which some say was the first battle between a Saxon invasion and an army of Britons. The Black Death also came through this area, bringing pain, death and misery. A plague pit is said to be located somewhere in this area. Since at least the 11th century, records say that the area of the hill fort was occupied with private estates, royal hunting lodges, and centuries later, a mansion grounds during the 1800s. The area remained private until the early 1900s, when the private estates were sold and purchased by Hampshire County Council, and reopened as, I quote, a colony for mental defectives. Today, the ancient Tatchbury Mount is largely unoccupied. A modern psychiatric hospital is located nearby, but the mount itself is now covered in dense dark forest, with sparse remnants of past structures, manor house foundations, and the banks of the hill fort still remains. Generations of locals have feared to walk through Tatchbury Mount, especially alone and at night. Paranormal activity has been reported here for centuries, including strange lights, screams, battle noises, and scariest of all, a violent, vengeful spirit who is known to physically attack the victims with unseen fists. Anyone here, if you'd like to come and speak to us, we are friendly, we don't mean you any harm. Up to that fence, this is where they kept the ones with criminal records and um, and it went right the way back to those trees there then. But over the years it's all grown up. Oh. And over there. This used to be a beautiful white building. Um, and with bars. And you'd come through and there would be... You'd see these big men wearing their white suits. It's just It was like something off a, one of the, the films you used to watch back in the 70s. And they were more scary than the people you were watching. Almost immediately at the start of our investigation, a lot of our electronic equipment started failing. Our microphones were not working correctly, and a lot of our devices kept losing power. 
just um, picking something up here on the uh, bleep bloop. The EMF. Yeah. We can affect you. <laughs> okay. We can affect you. Okay. Well, the EMF is just going absolutely crazy at the moment. It is. Is that you wanting to affect us? If you can make the light go red, that would be that would be impressive. I'm feeling a bit sick at the moment. There is like a really heavy feeling around here, isn't there? I think whatever was back there was a. Uh, gone away now. See uh, the light stopped. Wow, look at that view. Is that Southampton Docks? Yes, yeah, that's Southampton Docks. Beautiful. Oh. Um, escaped from the new facilities. Um he was something to do with he was experimenting yes, on it's me. <laughs> And there was me. <laughs> Can you tell me your name? Are you the person that murdered those people? If it's you, you can come through on here, or you can you can touch my arm, or you can touch the um, the meat here, which it looks like you're doing. Uh, I've just gone very cold as well. I've actually got tingles going down my left side now, and goosebumps, and the uh, the meat is going up to orange. Is that you doing that? God, it's so creepy here. It is. Five. Five? Five. What relevance is that number? Five, is that the amount of years you were here for? Batteries just jumped from 80% to 21%. Really? Yeah. Draining the batteries of energy. Yes, yeah. So I think it might be worth um, just saying that a moment ago we had, I think um, we had, uh, I need energy come through and my batteries just jumped from 80% to 21%. I threw something. You threw something? What did you throw? Who were you aiming at? Oh yeah, you can see the uh, the borders of the building, can't you? How? How? Are you asking how you might have passed? Is it picking something up? Yeah. What's it picking up? Someone stood over there. So, yeah. That Looks like they're fighting. Because, they? They're in like a boxing stamp. Yeah, yeah. I don't know what that's about. I'm in the shadows. Who's in the shadows? Can you give us a name? So they're just on that corner down there. I might go down and uh, see if we pick anything up. <coughs> Are they about here, Kieran? So it looked like on the camera you were fighting. Is there anything you want to tell us about what happened here? Are you picking anything up?
laying down. What happened to you? I don't know if you're picking anything up, Kieran, but I, I did see something float on the camera directly in front of me. If I come closer, it disappears, but it's something laid down. Choose. Choose. Did you have a choice? Were you asked to choose? Can you set this off again? Thank you. Wow. Can you make um can you make it go to the red? The noise was him. The noise was him. The noise in there. Yes, yeah, yeah. Wow. Can you make it go to red? I know it's hard. It's like they're trying. Are you in the bushes in front? If you're hiding again, make this machine light up. Christy. Christy? Who's Christy? My battery's just gone down to 19%. Is that you draining my battery? Grace. Grace? Is that your name? Just had the name Grace come through. And Christy. Were you two of the nurses here? Or were you patients? In, in my teens there was suicide from that from those three there. Wow. Should we go down and see if we can pick yeah. anything up? I'm sad. You're sad? Is that because you took your own life maybe? I'm sorry that you're sad or that you felt you had to do that. Was was that your name? She's over there. Who's she? Is that somebody with you? Through there, can you make this light up for me please? Oh, there's somebody there right in front of us. Yeah. Around about there where I'm pointing the torch. Can you make this light up? It's that same figure that's doing the, the punching. Was a uh, a boxer? Yeah, he was a fighter, but a lovely person. Wow. Make this light up for me. Thank you. Twelve hundreds. Is that somebody else coming through now? I think there might be an animal in the bushes there or someone just appeared by the bushes there. Really? Wow. Mm -hmm. And there goes a bird again. Yeah. Are you from the 1200s? Something heavy in there. Demonstrate. Demonstrate. What was that? Two vocals <gasps> just from Wow, out <laughs> wow. <laughs> I thought it sounded like something bigger. Wow. Is that you spooking the deer? Watch yourself here. <laughs> Are we in danger? Do you mean to harm us? 
Got over there, like shouting. Very faint. Is that figure still there? Yeah, still there. Over by the bush. Keeps coming and going. Shame we haven't got a good light on here. Yeah. Should we go down a bit further? Is there anything historically um, down There's here? nothing further down there except my fields, so. Right, okay. That's where the battle um, with the uh, Saxons was, yeah. down there. One of the first battles with the Saxons fought on English soil. Do you have any more um, history on the battle that happened there? I don't. I've not really researched it, but I know it. they came up Southampton Water, um, allegedly landed their craft at Goaty Beach and marched here to the hill fort where the uh, local king was killed. Wow. Um, there's apparently 5,000 men died in this immediate area of the woodland and the surrounding hill. Just a little voice here. Yeah, that's where I kept hearing voices. Can you light up this machine cold. again? Cold. Are you cold or that? It is very cold tonight. Can you light up this device? I was a witch. You <laughs> was a witch? Okay. What did he say? Someone's just come through and said, I was a witch. Ch. Ch. I felt a weird sensation then. It felt like footsteps underneath my thing. I was just stood still. That's weird. Positive. Positive. George. George. Okay, who's George? Are you picking anything up, Kieran? Yeah, I'm still getting that boxing figure following us around. It does feel like it's following, doesn't it, rather than... So we're going to have a walk back up now and uh, see if anything else comes through. Age. Age, okay. Is that your age or our age? Just uh, passing through the site of one of the old buildings again, just below us here. I do pick up um, quite an energy around this area for some reason. So if that's somebody around me, if there's something you'd like to, to say or if you want to touch my arm at all. Thank you. Have you got anything you'd like to say to us? It's like they're sort of regaining their energy. That's just a faint few flickers. Are the bad men still here? Oh, I just caught an orb then. Oh, I just caught an orb then. It wasn't a... Uh, Marie. Marie. Another lady's name again. Did they hurt you, Marie? If they hurt you, make the red light sign. Something bad happened to you, Marie. Yes. Thank you for, for doing that. I know it would have taken a lot of energy. Was it the nurses? The nasty men?
Yes. Did they put you in a cell? They hurt you in your cell. Can you tell us the man's name? Don't be afraid. Marie, if the nasty man is here with us, make one of those lights up, light up. If you're frightened, make the red light. Footstep. Is he behind us? I'd say that was a yes. Is he the one that's trying to fight us? Don't be afraid. I can hear the footsteps behind us. Is he behind us? Going crazy, isn't it? Call out. Call out. Call. Is that you calling out for help? Is there a figure beyond us again? You check on the camera, Kieran. Yeah. It does. It feels something like right in front of us, almost. Did you just touch this Mr. device? Did you touch it? Is that you, Marie? Might be trying to build up energy again. It would have taken a lot of energy to do that. You did touch it. Shot. Device. Shot. Gosh, this is the most we've picked up in such a short space of time ever in all the places we've been. In the battery on this now. Yeah, my Am I on video? <laughs> <laughs> yes, you are. Yes, you are. So, if there's anything you would like to to say, I've gone completely cold on my left side. So, you would, yeah, you would be on video. If there is anything you'd like to say or any messages you'd like me to pass on, they say you can see lights up here, little lights at night. Really? Be good if you could do one of those for us. Can you show us a light? You won't see much on the camera, but I'm just panning it around to see if anything flickers through. Mm. You alright? Yeah. Yeah, it's just like something tapped my hand. Is that you letting us know you're here? Did you just tap me, Maria? Paranormal. Paranormal. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that is uh, that is what we're hoping to to achieve, to speak to somebody on the other side. So thank you so much for coming through. Did you just touch me, Maria? Make the make it light up if you did. Was it someone else? You've gone quiet again. Is he back here again? The man you're frightened of. If he is, light up those lights again.
Have you gone away? I don't feel that air at all. No. no. I think wherever it was, it's gone. Let's go back down towards her. I was wealthy. You was wealthy? Okay. Are you one of the people that um, used to live in the old manor house that was near this site? <coughs> Gosh, you know what? It's so easy to get lost up here, <laughs> isn't it? You just literally... It's so dark and oppressive. Like, literally, physically dark. Look at Southampton, that's impressive. Yeah, I've got Southampton docks over there. Please go right. Why do you want this to go right? Is this the way back down to the old part of the hospital? Yeah. Oh, there is. Oh, yeah. just pick something up. Yeah, it's that boxing figure again. Right, isn't it, Kieran? It's like it, it wants me to fight with it. <laughs> it is, isn't it? Yeah, it's like facing right at me, waving its fists. That's strange. Feeling. Is that you feeling sad again? Just seems like a shadow go across the wooden belt. There's that figure again. Fair now. She's in there. <laughs> Fucking hell, you're really following us tonight, aren't you, buddy? <laughs> Is there a reason why you're making yourself known to us? In such a, you know, quite a... Uh, uh, what's the word? But wants us to go. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Tell us to clear off. Yeah, yeah, I think you're right. gone cold on my left side again. Damage. Damage. You mean to damage us or do you mean that you were damaged? This is oh, honestly the most activity we've picked up in such a small space of time. Graveyard. Graveyard. The mortuary used to be over there somewhere. Wow. I know up until fairly recently you could actually explore the um, the abandoned buildings but they've torn most of them down now and and even up until that time there was abandoned items like medical items left um, left around the building. I think that figure's gone to him. Can you just check? I'm not getting anything now from any figures or any feelings of coldness or... No, I, I can't feel anything. It's all in that old area that's been torn down, isn't it? Oh, I guess, uh... <laughs> Is it still there? Yes, yeah, still there, my God. Definitely wants us gone, doesn't he? Yeah. yeah, yeah. You can't follow us anymore, you have to go back. I saw it from the top of my shoulder then. Yeah. Done. 
John. I almost get the feeling like this is sort of like the boundary, the yeah. cut-off point. So I don't, I don't feel anything at all now. Jack, we bring her. Yeah, I can't see him now. And thus concludes another Imps and Ghouls paranormal investigation. This one definitely didn't disappoint and is sure to stay with us for a long time. Please like and subscribe and remember, stay spooky.